what's up y'all so i just woke up and was reading on my uh google news feed about the guy the nba player from the heat uh using a racial slur against jews um a few thoughts Cancel culture is dumb, and he's dumb. <laughs> In a day and age like this, where you know the consequences of something like that, um, he had like 170,000 followers on uh, Twitch, which is that video game live platform thing or whatever. And he goes off and says something like, you mother effer kike bitch or something like that. Claiming that he didn't know what, he, what it meant at the time. Okay. So that's dumb. Okay. Don't need to point that out. Secondly, um, cancel culture is dumb. I don't think that he should be removed from the NBA and, you know, not allowed on Twitch anymore uh, over, like, one incident. Uh, maybe he did, maybe he's dumber than I think, and, and, um, really doesn't know what it means, but I highly doubt it because, come on, I mean, I didn't even really know what that word meant, like, really meant, till I was older, uh, but this, this is a grown man, so. Uh, apparently, so the word kike came about, uh, I think, like on Ellis Island, when immigrants had to come and sign their name, um, and when there was an X, they would put an O, so when they were illiterate or they didn't speak the language, um, instead of an X, they would put an O. So people would idiotically start making fun of them and use the word something along the lines of kike, which means circle, um, but would it turned into a racial slur. So that's how that came about. Um, so yeah, it's pretty offensive um, to Jewish people. Um, I myself am, I do not, uh, practice Judaism. Um, I didn't grow up in the temple. You know, I'm not like a super Jew. <laughs> hey, to all you super Jews, I love you. <laughs> but, um, I do think that, that my ancestors went through some really unfair horrible, treacherous times, and they were, you know, enslaved for thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years. Um, and they came up, you know, they came out of it, um, mostly, well, for the most part. So I just think that our genial, we're just a very strong people. Um, I'm a very spiritual person, like I said, but I'm not religious. I don't, I don't follow any, any, uh, organized religion. Um, but I do agree with some, some Jewish values and I, I agree with some Christian values as well. Um, anyhow, this isn't about me. Um, you know, this is about the state of our society once again, I'm, like, annoyed about the whole situation. Um, he didn't know the meaning, though, really? Like, that's, that's 
suppose I gotta do that. Dude, you can't have 170,000 TikTok. TikTok. I mean, he probably has TikTok too, but um, Twitch followers and say stuff like that. Like, even if you. W okay, so apparently, I think he was fined like $50,000 and. This is so funny because I don't agree with cancel culture. But now that it's a thing, um, like $50,000, have you looked up this guy's net worth? Had he said some other type of racial slur, and I don't have to tell you the word, because you all know what I'm talking about. And I'm not going to say the word because I don't say that word. But had he said something else. Guaranteed he would have been kicked out of the NBA. Freaking banned. Bye. No questions asked. But he only gets a $50,000 fine for this one. Yeah, I think cancel culture is dumb, like, in a lot of instances. But now that it's a thing, uh, $50,000 is, like, he's reaching in his back pocket right now. Okay, here you go. He is going to get a lot of, um, he's going to get a lot of backlash from it, which he already has. But not nearly as much if it was some other kind of slur that he would have said. Um, like, <laughs> his coach, I believe his coach, or he, I think his coach is from Israel, or his dad was uh, born in Tel Aviv. Either him or his dad. Either way, he's of Jewish descent as well. Um, and there's another player on his team that's Jewish as, as well. And <laughs> apparently a guy from the New England Patriots who's Jewish, um, invited him to a Shabbat dinner. It's like, that's the kind of stuff Jewish people are going to do. They're, they're, <laughs> I don't think they're all about cancel culture. Um. But society is. So those are my thoughts on that. Um, I just thought I'd get on here and say <laughs> something about it. Um, times are crazy, y'all. Be careful what you say. It might hurt somebody. Uh, and if you're uh, if you're a um, public figure, famous person something of the sort you know you can't be saying nothing like that and if you think it's okay to say that and not any other kinds of slurs well I guess you just got told alright peace love and chicken grease y'all bye